All right, so the product that we're talking about here, bleach, is sodium hypochlorite. We gave it a nickname of SH for sodium hypochlorite. You'll see that a lot online. People will call it SH. But it's a yellow fluid, and it's used for water purification mostly. That's its biggest use. Bleaching, bleaching would be like, you know, if you go out in the field and you look at cotton, it's slightly yellow. How do you turn it into a white, white shirt with bleach? How do you make paper? When was the last time you saw a white tree? Okay, wood pulp is yellow. How do they turn it into white paper with bleach? Sanitation. The WHO and the CDC came out April of last year when COVID hit. And we'll put on here WHO. Everybody know what WHO stands for? World Health, okay, World Health Organization and the CDC, Centers for Disease Control. Okay, they came out and said that you could use SH, better known as bleach, at a 0.005% solution to kill COVID. Now, a 0.005% solution on this head right here is if you took this valve and you put it right in between 0 and 1. That's a half of a percent. Because if we all know our decimals, okay, 1% would be 0 0.01, right? 0 0.005 is 1 half of 1%. So at one half of 1%, you're not gonna bleach anything. You get one half of 1% on your clothes, on this tablecloth, on your paper, on the carpet, it doesn't bleach anything, but it kills viruses. Viruses and bacteria are actually the easiest things to kill. Funguses are the hardest. So when we had our greenwash tested by a third party laboratory, we came in and on this head right here, and I'll show it to you guys. On a one with a one. So 1% 1 sodium hypochlorite solution, one ounce per gallon green wash. They tested that in a lab and against a panel of 15 different pathogens. Five bacterias, five viruses, and five funguses, we achieved a 99.9% .9 kill ratio. And that's important because we're not just cleaning the surfaces, we're actually sanitizing them. We'll talk about that here in a minute. Okay? All right, so what's the difference between cleaning, sanitizing, and sterilization? Cleaning, sanitizing, and sterilization. Even the CDC came out this year just in warm water and soap is going to wash away most of COVID-19. If you will just wash your hands, just wash your freaking hands, people. Shake somebody's hand, then what do we do? And we wonder why we get sick. Or we eat fried chicken wrong. I'm vaccinated, so I can lick my fingers. But anyhow. Wash, just cleaning removes visible debris, dirt, dust, and contaminants from a surface, usually with just soap and water. That's what cleaning is. Sanitizing, and people get these two confused, sanitizing and sterilizing, they think that's the same word and it's not. Sanitizing is where you come in and you reduce. Notice the words in black, it says removes, reduce, eliminate. It reduces micro, microorganisms or microbes, algae, bacteria, and viruses from a surface using CDC and WHO prescribed methods. So when the WHO and CDC comes here and they say you can use one half of 1%, a 0.005% solution to kill COVID-19, that was a CDC or WHO prescribed method. And actually, if you take and you use um, an ATP meter is what they're called. And that's literally where you can go to a surface, you can take a swab and swab it, and then you put it in the meter and it reads how much ATP. ATP is like antigen, I forget what the TNT stands for. Basically, it's reading how much protein is on a surface. 
It can't tell you what was on the surface. It can't tell you if it was a fungus or if it's a bacteria or if it's a virus. It'll just tell you the protein load on the surface. If you take a before swab of a surface and it's like 600 ATP, and then you treat it with a soft washing solution and you rinse it off and you take it after reading and let's say it's down to 50 on the ATP meter, you have done what? You've sanitized, why? Because you have reduced, that's all that's required in that definition. So at a 1 on the 212 dial and a 1 on the green wash dial, okay, we're for sure sanitizing because we're going to make a reduction on that surface. Let's talk about sterilization. Sterilization is where it eliminates, eliminates all microbes, algae, bacteria, viruses from a surface, bringing that surface count to zero. So if you take that ATP meter and you take a swab, you put it in there and it goes boop, zero. Guess what you just did to that surface? And it's so easy to do that because if we look at this head back here, we're coming back to this head a lot. One day I'm gonna make this stand a lot smaller so it's easier to move. If I move this up to like a three and maybe two ounces per gallon here on the green wash, maybe add a little bit of terra wash to it. Well, now it's a little too strong so I'm gonna add a little rain fresh to it for scent. And I go treat let's say a public bathroom at a park where everything's tiled, everything's plastic, everything's stainless steel, it's nasty, it's been barely cleaned for a year, they just go in and do surface cleaning, they need a deep cleaning, they need that sucker sterilized. With that head right there, we can completely eliminate all microbes, algae, bacteria, viruses from a surface with that head right there. Why? Because one of the things that we're using, toner 12, is sodium hypochlorite. And the stronger you make that sodium hypochlorite, the more you're going to go from cleaning to sanitizing to sterilization. I cannot even turn on the toner 12 valve on that system and just use green wash and tear wash and water, put it on the surface, agitate it some with a brush, rinse that surface, and show a reduction. Can't I? Sure. So you can see the power of that, but when you add bleach, the kill ratio really goes up. Question before you move that. Yeah. So where does disinfecting, disinfecting come? This disinfecting is a combination of all of these. The word that combines. Yes. Yeah. 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 So you have to dis is not okay. Infecting. So you're dis infecting the surface. So you're removing things that infected the surface. So that's why they say don't say you're disinfecting, say you're sanitizing? Yeah, you have to be a little more specific. You can say you're disinfecting. You just have to back your but claims. But then you're held to the sterilization. Right, so here's the thing. Is if you guys turn around and put sanitizing on any of your collateral materials, and your state attorney general's office, one of your competitors calls and goes, they're taking my butt, I don't like them. They say sanitizing in their literature. I want you to go out and check them out and give them a hard time. And you go out, you guys cannot show third party data or can't go with an ATP meter and say, watch, we haven't treated this, scrape it, boom, 600. Now we did treat it, boom, up, 100. We sanitized it. If you can't prove that or you don't have third party data to back your claims, your state attorney general's office can shut you down or at minimum fine you. We've already done all that for you. All you do is just pull out the data. No, oh, here it is right here. Here's the third party testing. 99.9% .9 kill ratio against this panel of 15 different pathogens. Nobody else does this. Nobody. If you try to do it yourself, it'd take you 30 years to get here, too. It's a lot of stuff you have to do. You know, you might as well take the shortcut. The only time I'm going to encourage you ever to shortcut is when you join up with somebody that's already done the work for you. Okay?